What up, y'all? Back here at the garage. Got the cars in the rain and shit. The Project Coupe right here. This is a customer's car I'm working on currently. Um, I'm actually gonna be building the sedan. Uh, I got some parts ordered. I'm gonna go pick up some intakes today, so I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Probably won't be able to use them because they're three-inch intakes, unless I use the ECU from here, which I can. So I might swap the ECU so I can throw the intakes on here. But it's been raining like crazy. Cali, we finally got one day with no rain. So I don't know if I'm going to, but I got that ECU right there that I could use. Um, but yeah, so that has a single exit right now at test pipes. I got some injectors, a pump, and I got intakes also. So we're gonna get that thing tuned soon, hopefully. All right, y'all. Uh, I got my intakes. I'll show you guys that later. Um, I actually just got another package. In. Who's that look like to y'all? <laughs> so, uh, this is for the fuel pump, obviously. The strainer, or the filter, whatever you call it. And then the fuel line. Got my pump right here. AM340, uh, I believe. And I also got some injectors. Set you up right here. So, that's it. Injectors for the sedan. Some 650s, I believe these are from Admi. And they look like they're Denzel, they're Denzel uh, injectors, also. It's nice. So, So they include uh, their own uh, strainer or filter, whatever you call it, but I might have to run that one on the side. Here's the pump. I'm assuming this is like a sleeve to hold the pump, maybe. Uh, a little harness for it. Possibly like an adapter. So here we go. This is my, my new pump. Pretty dope. All right. We got injectors, pump, intakes. I already have the exhaust. Uh, this is obviously my coupe, but my coupe has an HR. I'm going to be getting my manifold supported. So since the coupe is down, I'm going to be taking these manifolds off so I can take them to get ported. Um, so I'm going to have to go ahead and take these off and I'm going to drop the manifolds off tonight to get ported. Once that's done, all that's left is I think I need to get a white pipe because I have the OEM one and I don't want to get tuned on that. Plus it's cracked, it's leaking, so I'm gonna have to get a new white pipe. Once that's done, we should be good though. Yeah. So. Alright y'all, it is nighttime. So I'll make this quick. I got the manifolds off of my coupe. So these are what stock manifolds look like right here. So just to get a good look. That. Sorry, the light isn't the best. These are really dirty and they look a little wet, maybe. I don't know why, but. So, uh, next time you see these, they're gonna be ported, ready for the sedan. Yo, yo, yo. What you think of this sticker? New broken garage sticker. If y'all are interested in this, hit me up. I'm gonna have some more made. <clears throat> Anyways. I wasn't playing about the sedan build, so without further ado, these are the final parts, other than my pump and injectors. But I have a Z1 pipe, Z1 3 inch tapes, and then I have the ECU from ECU out of my coupe, which is already it already has up rev on it. Um, yeah, it's tuned for three inch intakes already. Has like a base map, so. This will be perfect for me. I got the white pipe off already. I need to go get some bolts because the OEM white pipe has studs on it. Right here. 
so I need to get some bolts um, for the back of the backpack. But this thing was fucked. Jesus. I mean, they're not the worst, but it was definitely leaking. Basically, they just. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Anyways, I'm gonna go to O'Reilly's real quick, grab some bolts, and be quick. Alright, y'all. I got my bolts. So, here's the new one. Z1 backpack, obviously. Here is my OEM one. It is fucked. Like I just said. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one in. Um, I might also throw the intakes in EC1 right now. Um, we will see. I most likely will. Uh, hopefully it's not completely dark by then, but I'm gonna throw the white pack on real quick. Pipe on, still have some sunlight out, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to attempt to draw the intakes on. I gotta take the bump off, obviously. So, if I have all the clamps I need to look for them, I'll go ahead and draw the intakes on. Real quick. All right, so the sun's going down, so it's gonna be a little hard to see, but here are my Z1 range intakes, here are my OEM big bulky ones. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in right now. All right, so it's the next day. Um, I'm gonna throw the intakes on right now, but since the intakes are bigger, there's already a hole here. I'm gonna have to cut it out a little bit more though, just so the intake can fit completely through. I already bought a blade and whatnot, so I'm gonna start making some cuts and see if, uh, how big I need to go to fit this through. All right, so I did a little cut, um, not too much, but enough to where I was able to get the intake through. You could kind of see it's a little, it's a little jank. I don't have the best tools to cut with, um, but I made it work. I'm just worried about this side because you have AC lines right here. Um, so I think I'm gonna cut this way a little. This way, I'm probably gonna cut out more. I'll move the horn out of the way and then cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so this side's definitely a little bit harder to do just because of the AC line. I kind of nicked them a couple times. Um, but it'll be much easier if you have like a chisel or like you know a small cutting tool. The only thing I had at the moment is this ginormous thing, but I'm making it work. I feel like I have to cut a little bit more right here. I just have to be careful because of my AC lines. Obviously, I don't really have much room. But I'm gonna try to test fit it and see if it'll clear this. If not, I'm gonna have to cut at least this little portion out, and we'll be good to do. It. So here's obviously this side. Here's the piece that I cut out, pretty much, just a little bit, you don't have to do, uh, you don't have to do too much, but just enough to where your intake will clear it through the first floor. Alright, so I pretty much got it in. My only concern at the moment, um, it's up here too, it's all good. It wasn't supposed to happen. My only concern is, it looks like it's kind of like smushed right here, like a bottleneck almost. I don't know if I could... That would require me to cut the frame right here to have it seat normal. I don't really want to do that. Unless I cut more back this way, uh, it should be okay for now. Um, I don't think it'll pose too much of a problem. This side looks like it's completely fine though. It's not like, you know, smushed anywhere. So I gotta play with this side a little bit, see if I can figure out how to get it to sit more uh, correctly. But. Is a almost complete view, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side up and just show you guys how it looks. All right, here we go. The intakes are on. I'm gonna throw my math sensors on right now, obviously from the old intakes. Um, yeah, that's pretty dope. Uh, I feel like they need to be adjusted a little bit. I have to run to O'Reilly's to get caps for these. Um, it's like a breather hose that goes across right here, right here. I mean, it goes into the valve cover, so I'm gonna go and get some plugs so I can plug those up because I don't need them. And it obviously doesn't fit that this big ass pipe would go. So let me throw the maps on, and then I'm gonna put my ECU for my coupe in, and we'll see if it starts. All right, y'all. So I got the ECU plugged in. Um, I'm not sure what it what to expect. To be honest, let's see what happens. Dude, it's idling like normal too. Which is pretty cool, I guess. 
up that the car is running. So it takes a minute to turn on. Test pipes, Wi Fi uh, cat back, and uh, injectors and a pump for E85. Um, if I have my manifolds back in time, I will be throwing the manifolds on too. Uh, but this definitely is a nice setup for daily. She feels peppy. I'm, I'm definitely gonna go get those plugs though, just in case, see if that makes a difference uh, because it was choking when under throttle. Next time you'll be seeing this car, she's going to be getting ready to go on the dyno, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Baby.